What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bringing you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off last time, we've absolutely smashed into Europe and we've come back to our roots to fight in India. We are rapidly conquering the continent, but there is still a significant amount of troops to, uh, to oppose us, which we need to engage. So without further ado, we're going to fight these chaps here. Got some, got some Gurkhas, Sikh warriors, which we need to keep an eye on. Lots of camels, which we need, also need to keep an eye on. But let's take them out. Fundamentally, we now own probably at least 75% of the Indian continent. But they still have buckets of troops. So one way to go about it is through um, just take their cities. But some of their troops, some of their blobs of troops are deployed near their population centres. Okay, so. Some cover on the left. Let's put some... Two units in the centre, I suppose. Two more units, and then let's add a bit of beefier support on the flanks. Got lots of cavalry, which isn't as useful when they've got loads of camels. But I do have buckets of howitzers, so... So my line is going to advance. I hear shrapnel shot, that's not good. Anchor against the village. Yeah, shrapnel shot's pretty devastating. No, that's the cavalry. Select all bar cavalry. Bar cavalry. Good, they switched to good old round shot. Focus on their Cavalry forces for our quick line first and foremost. You guys might even deploy back to not get. You focus on the horsemen, you focus on the men direct to your front. Just deploy my guards on the flank into square. Gurkhas, you men canister, the kids of bashing musketeers. My guards on the flank, preemptively deploy into square. Keep my cavalry close, because I was going to send them after those guys, but there's a lot of camels around. <laughs> I knew they couldn't resist. Keep bombarding their artillery to the rear. Gurkhas have been turned back. Which is excellent news. Now we should turn back these Indian mercenaries at point blank range. Good. Danger close quick line. But by god it's worked. Pick new targets. Mm 
Okay, we have to go focus on the Kizilbashi cavalry primarily. Keep my guardsmen secure in their square formations. There's more Gurkhas coming up. Gurkhas have been knocked out. Regiment of force have routed. My guardsmen look upset because they're now no longer in square formation. Are these Gurkhas that have come back, they are. Okay, where's my Infantry full, some of my infantry back. Some of them, my cavalry, are going to charge on straight into the enemy camels. You guys all focus on those units of camels right there. These guys need to stay in square because they can't do anything else. Might even drop a quick claim shell over on the flank. Okay, the cavalry's been dealt with. You chase down those Gurkhas. Because they're still... They're still dangerous. They're likely to lose the edge on the flank over there. There's a risk that these Gurkhas could come back, so we need to make sure that they are dealt with. These gunners engage into Fangy. The guards are finally broke. Oh yeah, I forgot about camos. Can you dump into square because they're coming for you? You guys switch to round shot, focus on the general's bodyguard. So my square formation will hold off the camels quite well. Switch to round shot and start to drop them in on that combat over there. Okay, they're probably not coming back. The Gurkhas have been seen off. Okay, now you guys charge in the flank of these Sikh warriors. my artillery generally can focus on these two fangy. The general's bodyguard is still... Ah, oh, those camel mercenaries back again. Let's keep my cover on the run. All my artillery focus on those darn camels. to seek warriors. These men form up to shoot against the camel mercenaries. There we go. Quick climb and some stout infantry would be enough to do the job. All my artillery, field artillery, engage general's bodyguard. These guys can beat the Kizilbashi cavalry. Okay, 
form up a firing squad to engage those camels. Before long, that will be the end of. No, the general's bodyguard's been shot off of his cat, off of his uh, elephant. Stop my artillery from shooting and just to use my field up my howitzers. There we go. Right, it's all down to the elephants. Everyone else, I believe, is routing. So speed up time. Hey, the sea quarries have come back. Not for long, though. Yeah, there we go. They've already routed. So speed up time because they're just going to get engaged by infantry fire. And then that'll be the end of that. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Sweet. So that's the kind of action you have to take against the Mughals. Just engage them everywhere. Forward! So these men need Forward! to be replenished. Country! This force here sir. can move up to intercept. Well, go head east and then hit west. Forward! And engage Kam Abdullah. To make sure we don't uh, let any of them slip past us and potentially cause us mischief. Okie dokie. So a large proportion of their army is made up of low quality infantry, so our artillery is going to stand back and fire over our heads, our howitzers are going to engage with good old quick climb. We are going to form up a great infantry battle line and surround and envelop. The purpose of my cavalry is not to engage, it is to chase and pursue. Bit of a bloodbath, so let's just push, let's just speed up time while our men move up into position. Oh, here come some camels. Let's let them walk within the firing, firing position. Those camel mercenaries can't be sticking around for very long. We've got some bowmen, we've got some dervishes, so let's hit the bowmen with some quick climb fire. It looks like these guys are falling back towards positions inside the uh, the village. Pause. My cavalry could avoid these fights, but well, they've been countercharged. We're gonna lose some cavalry to the fire. It's coming in. There we go. The bowmen have broken, so now these men can all. These men can push up. 
fine. Pick up the cavalry if you like. Okay, now it's on. The Indian mercenaries might be looking a bit too comfortable. Let's run my general's bodyguard over kind of towards the centre, maybe? No, let's probably keep them together with my infantry. The centre of their line has broken, so make sure we are gaining the ground. Stuff. Lots of morale breaking. Refocus our artillery. She has switched a round shot. It's less devastating to the health of my cavalry if it goes wrong. Come on, kill the dervishes. There's two left. One left, whose turn to engage us. doing what you're doing. Mercenaries, levy, mercenaries. Yeah, this unit, well, very much appears that this uh, force um, could not withstand modern artillery. Let's pick the end of our artillery fire. So let's just try and keep keep our cavalry in business. Who's the last bowman? Got him. Keep at it, native lancers. Okay, let's bring them over here to help my native lancers, although it looks like they do not need help. Four. Awesome. Well, that smashed them, and it's kept us. It's kept the, the, the path free onward into northwest Fight India. So this army, even though it's depl oh, depleted, can push up to you. there. You can't yet push up to the river crossing. Let's get you replenished. Let's. Uh, you're in a good position as it is anyway. You can drive east as a bit of a to provide some bait. You're still trying to protect this passage, which is a, might be a bit of a tall order. Let's get one turn's worth of infantry recruited. I don't want to leave you exposed yet, although, to be honest, I probably... No, you're depleted. I don't want to do that. So. Push on, take a diaper, push up and take it. Barabad Lahore. Sarinagar. We know that they're coming after us here in Neroon. Which we do have visibility along the coast, which is good. Let's check our building. Guatemala. Great. Weavers. 
cottage. Let's upgrade these chaps to some steam powered cloth mills. Uh, yes, we also have. There we go. Let's occupy the ports. You could probably do with a, another engineer school in Ceylon, Jesuit College at Hyderabad. A small tea plantation at Madnagar, which we can keep being, we can keep exporting. And we've also got another church school here at Madnagar, which we've already built. This church got 20, 25.8 million. Compared to Sitara, it's a 1.8. Alright, what happened there? Okay, so we are surrounding and we're getting ready to hit Baraban and Daipo. Then we've got a... The Mughals are, are trapped in a bit of a pocket. Let's hop over to... Uh, we are still pushing up. And that means we, we should also have... Are you guys ready to leave... Will the natives allow you to leave? Minus five. Forward. Not yet. Lord. Soon. When that new building is done, then you can leave. Let's hop back to Europe. Do I want to take Paris? Is Paris where I want to fight next? Probably because the garrison's already depleted. Settlement received. Lots of elite troops in here as well, so it would be good to destroy them. For me, I was just looking at the uh, the end turn timer, and it's ticking on. And I'm thinking, can I finish this in eight minutes? Probably not, but it'd probably take about ten to twelve. I'll accept that as an overrun. Oh dear! Oh dear! Okay, I'll take this slight raised ground right at the back. Because they are depleted, don't have to worry about using our artillery in a battlefield in a canister clearing way. Put our light infantry out on the flanks with some cavalry support. A marine unit that didn't get picked up. Okay, how about that? And these chaps that aren't deployed. Deploy. Last unit cover on the left. General in the center. Ish. Oh my god, look at that. That is the mighty host that stormed Paris. Well, the fourth Lance of Guard is going to get a bit of a surprise from our Chasseur à pied. It's a mass cavalry charge, that's what we're seeing. Yeah, we've already opened fire. Too bad, we've got sound problems. Push up, push up our cavalry. You two drop into squares. The flank is. pretty stark. General's bodyguards charging in now. Come on, horse guard. Counter charge.
Okie dokie, looks like the bulk of bulk, air quotes, of the Austrian forces is is stuck in the centre. Let's pull our cavalry back. You guys push up past the fence line to engage some of these men. These Hungarian hussars not looking too splendid. Charging in again. Yeah, I managed to make those cavalry cavalry wheel off temporarily. Come on, chasseur à pied. Engage. Picking apart those grenadiers. Yeah. <laughs> it's messier than planned. Still going all right. Come on, kill those damn provincial cavalry. It's only provincial cavalry. Everyone push up. They're very keen to have a go at my cavalry. Understandable, it's like the only place they can actually have an have an effect of any kind. My fusiliers are more than actually I think it's the first look we've had against the Louisiana fusiliers. Against Austrian fusiliers, the 37th versus <coughs> the blank regiment of foot. Goes the fifth, then we're on to the twelfth. Chiefly, my main goal is unit preservation. Just make them route with as fewer casualties as possible. Yeah, my light infantry's picking apart the this regiment of foot. Come on, there we go. So push this line up just to fire off a few volleys to push them away. Men won't take kindly to that. Oh, that chap got shot in the head. There they go. And that is all of them. There is no sneaky units reforming. Good. So these have been quite a pivotal couple of turns for us. For the loss of 400 men, 450 men. We took the city of Paris. They don't hate us, well they dislike us, but actually it might even be worth keeping this one, because we're only minus two. I 
Man, a good modern university will help us get through the technology. Get, get through some technologies quicker. So Orleans, you can work on machine rifling. Good. And we also need to get... Ooh. Nuts. So if I don't rebuild everything except for the military building, I can rebuild... I can start to build walls here. Which won't be too bad, because I am getting reinforcements from England. But it does kind of indicate that we need to uh, expand and push quite rapidly. <clears throat> so the Berlin army back here, that is growing to a smaller force, a useful force. Now you can push up and try and destroy these raiders. Huzzah! Huzzah! Your humble servant. Then ideally, these guys will come south. Or do they go east and land, on, land against Finland? Because then this army, when it's finished, probably can't leave Stockholm. Not yet. Sir. But one army will push north around the Baltic to start to knock out these smaller armies coming towards us, and then one will land directly across to hit Finland. Okay, I think it's doable. I think it's doable. It's chiefly doable if we make quite good progress here in India. So let's hit end turn. That's my spies advance. Hmm. Imagine Austria is... Their strategic pathfinding is probably a bit funky at the moment because they don't quite know where to focus their efforts. Do they go west? Do they go east? Either way, the sensible thing to do would be to combine some of your troops to uh, bigger armies and then push somewhere at least it's possible they could push straight through into mainland denmark but they won't be able to go anywhere because we've got troops we've got ships sorry at sea preventing them from crossing they do have a lot of muscle in france i suppose that was where the bulk of their effort was going but we now find ourselves in a position where we have we have a good amount of money coming in per turn. Not enough. But a good amount of money per turn to prosecute pretty much World War World War One. <laughs> yeah, it would be World War One. <laughs> ah. But right, this is I think it's going pretty well, but I do want to break India as soon as possible so I can start firing troops up through the Middle East and granted I will be fighting through the Ottomans first who we are currently not at war with uh, that, might, that itself might be a bit of a slog but once we've pacified India we can then start to extract the riches of the continent and use those to fuel our war machine Good. They're not pushing us. That's good. Sweden will likely have something to say about it. Hmm. They're going to try and send their gentlemen towards me, eh? Well, too bad. There's no university there. I'm building it with replacing it with a school. With a um, church school. Yeah, those guys can raid. I always I forgot about them again. Armies deployed out back Barabad. The more troops they send south, the riskier their position near Akbarabad becomes. Ooh, that's going to be a hard one to fight. <laughs> that's... That's going to be tricky. I kind of, Well, they're going to get a hole in the wall pretty quick. That's not so bad, actually. 
but that's going to be pretty fun. And we do have a pretty good sized set of reinforcements coming in. Granted, there are some of them are depleted, but it's a good solid core of infantry. Ultimately, if they can make a breach, then, which they can with this artillery for sure, we can quick climb the hell out of it. So, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the, next end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for this uh, nail biting defense. Cheers, everyone.